we've actually been touching on that question quite a bit. And I think that it's something where like we both have had a kind of a, I don't want to call it an emotional first, but, you know, saying that Wisetail, for example, is a social first platform. That's a huge deal. LCD is a very learner centered, learner first and business first model. It's not about what can, what does L&D know how to do or what do we want the learners to know? It's about the learner on the job and what mm -hmm. barriers are facing them there. And it's about our business leaders. What's the business pain they're experiencing, which that can be logical, but that can also be very emotional. And if you look at the neuroscience of learning, the emotions are so baked into how we all learn and take in information and how we remember information at a later time. And the social component is a huge, that's a huge emotional thread. And so putting these things first, it what it does is it upends a lot of the, again, the historical way of approaching learning, which is often logic first, and then everything else is kind of like a, a little bit of a stepchild, right? It, it's like an afterthought. So I loved, Ali, what you were saying about social is not an afterthought for you all. It's it's integrated into every single little piece. That's very similar to how I feel about LCD, like the learner and the business needs and context is built in in every single piece. Mm -hmm. And so that's not really just about the logic of, well, here's an organized step-by-step -step curricula and we load it into the system and the system just presents it to people. And when they search for it, it's assigned to a keyword and done, right? Like that's a very logic-centered you know, if I'm connecting the dots between <laughs> why still and us, that's a great logic centered end to end process. That's not really how I, either of us are talking about it. It's like we really focus on business pain, the learner context, and then we brainstorm these different assets across these different ways, times, places. Then when it goes into this, you know, system, and in y'all's case, it's a lot of the social commenting, the social rewards, the social contribution, the social learning people are having. And the assets are just, you know, they're there, and but they're more the, it, to me, what it sounds like is they're more of that, they're the base and the community yeah. builds on it and the community learns together and makes it their own. I think that learning work is both an emotional and logical negotiation. I think it's very hand in hand. Mm -hmm. And I think it's something that has always been known from a neuroscience perspective, or I think social learning has been very well known, but I don't think we in L and D have given it the attention, elevated it as equal in importance as the logics. Um, if that makes sense. No, that that does make a lot of sense. So, so basically, it's not one or the other. You cluster them together, right? Like exactly. <laughs> That's the nice thing about like the you know, we have all these multiple identities everywhere, you know, we all bring our, our perspective and that's a very both and world, right? Like we're trying to integrate between all these different perspectives rather than saying it has to be this way or, or that way. You know, we do that more in that perfect world where there's one person who has an idea of what perfect is and it's either that or it's not. And now it's like, you know, I love the, the age we're in from an L&D standpoint of considering these alternates.